Hello there, Aquarius. How are you guys? Okay, we're just gonna see what flies here. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Okay, we're starting out with judgment. Okay, something might be coming back around. A judgment card here. Let's make a decision about something. Crossing you, we have the nine of wands. Someone might be very defensive, or you might someone might be protecting your protecting yourself here. Okay. And that, whoops. And we have the ten of pentacles coming into some prosperity, commitment here. Something good going on. All right. In the recent past. We have, you've been working very hard. It feels like you've been just focusing on your work. Grounding. We have, oh, things are going to start moving quickly. The chariot. Cancer energy. Get ready. Things are about to take off. In the near future, we have the ace of swords. Truth coming out. Cutting out what does not belong in your life. Starting something new. Okay. And then we have... Seven of Cups, you're going to have choices. Okay, so there's decisions, choices to be made. You might be overwhelmed with the choices you have to make at this time. And then we have the High Priestess. Okay, people see you as very intuitive, very connected spiritually. A very high vibration. And that could be Virgo Cancer Energy. And then we have, okay... We have a little pain here that you might have to deal with. Maybe that's where the judgment cards are in and you're coming defensive because it might have been a third party situation but some kind of pain that you had to dealt you dealt with or you're dealing with. Okay, let's see what's the possible outcome. We have oh six of wands. Victory here. Getting recognition here. And we also have the moon. So this is um Pisces energy. So there might be some hidden emotions coming to light here. Something hidden here. A lot of emotions. And we have... And things moving really quick for you. Eight of Wands. Okay. Look at the cards. These cards are a little bit slippery. Let's see here. The bottom of the deck. I'm trying to hold on to real tight so they don't go flying. Because that already happened. I just got this deck and it was flying all over the place. Three of Pentacles. Something about work. Working together with someone. You might be getting a new job or something might be happening with a work situation. Or someone wants to work with you. Kind of weird because putting it next to the Three of Swords. I think someone wants to work on this is the energy I'm feeling here. Okay, let's see what else we get for you guys. Let's see. Why do we have this Judgment card here? What's this Judgment card all about? We have the Fool. A free spirit. So this is starting something new. Aries Aquarius energy. So this is your energy. Yeah, I feel like you are just starting new. Something, something is brewing. If that makes sense, that's why I feel like something's brewing. Something's almost there. It's not there yet, but I feel like something's coming in for you guys. And let's see, what about this Nine of Wands? Why is the Nine of Wands here? Why is this Nine of Wands here? Okay, so we have the two of wands making a plan. Yeah, you have to make a decision here. And you're sort of, you're on, I don't know, I feel defensive or protective. There's something that you're making sure um, you do this correctly. You have to make a decision that was two. Oh, geez, there goes stuff to me and that will apply it. Okay, let's put this seven of cups. Yeah, making a decision. That's the card that goes flying. The ones with all its cups here. Make a decision. What about this ten of pentacles? Why do we have the Ten of Pentacles here? Okay, we have Champion of Wands. Swept off your feet. This would be, I, I guess, like the Knight of Wands here. So, someone's coming in to sweep you off your feet. They, they want a long-term commitment. I'm going to put a charm on this because we're going to do the word on it. This is the way I'm marking these now. My little charm. So let's see. We have what is this? A bat? I got a bat here. <laughs> okay. Bang. Nighttime is what I'm getting. And able to see not see in the dark, but the feeling the um energy, the vibration. I think this person feels you. 
is because you're not you're not seeing them right now because the bats they can't see but they 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 can feel the vibration wow nocturnal something about nighttime too i'm getting spread in your wings feels like movement too between the bat and this woman on the horse something is moving as far as this long-term commitment and um probably your finances too things are starting to take off that's interesting never know where i'm getting I, i'm <laughs> these charms are so different okay now let's see in the past we have this eight of pentacles what's going on with this eight of pentacles Okay, this is the Eight of Swords, self entrapment. Okay, you're you're putting yourself in this um, in the past. You put yourself in this heavy workload. You, I think you were trying to escape from things, or you're just really focusing on your career, and you felt trapped though. But you did it. The self entrapment, with the Eight of Pentacles, two eights though. Eights are are good for abundance. Let's see. What about the Chariot? Why is the Chariot? Here? The lovers, divine union. Ooh. So that's what's coming in real quick. A divine union. You know, I, I felt this with this. This feels like a commitment that's going to really, it's going to sweep you off your feet. So whatever's coming in here, it's going to be quite amazing. Okay, the lovers. Hmm. And what about this Ace of Swords? Why do we have the Ace of Swords here? The Emperor, Divine Masculine. Oh, the Emperor is coming in to speak their truth here. Whether that's you or your person, someone is taking power, taking control. Wow. You know what? It's almost... Oh, uh, for some of you, I feel like once this connection comes in, there might be someone else coming. It might be the same person for some of you. But some of you, I don't know. I feel like once this person sees you with this person, they're going to come in trying to take control. The Divine Masculine. Wow. Okay, now what about the Seven of Cups? What about the Seven of Cups? Why is that here? Ten of Cups. Ooh, this is storybook ending. So once you have all these choices, it's going to go in your favor. So we have so far the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Looking good. This is really working out for you guys. Okay, what about this... Um, Oh, to the high priestess. And who's flipping over? Two of cups. A loving exchange. Wow. Nice. A two of cups. So this is a love story here going on. And this is, you might be connecting at this time in the fifth dimension. Maybe right now you're not connecting on the third dimension, but there, this is coming together. And it's divinely coming together. Think, what about this Three of Swords? We gotta know what's going on with this Three of Swords. What's this all about? Why do we have this Three of Swords? Six of Earth, giving and receiving. Yes, this broke up or whatever this was because this was not an even give and take. That's what caused the heartbreak in the past. It could be this person coming back around, or this is just explaining what happened here. You need to be given and receiving. So someone might want to come back in to fix this situation because they they probably didn't give in the past see this is also working together makes sense they're all lining up here okay what about this six of wands why is the six of wands here why do we have the six of wands please two of coins out in the cold oh, i said did i say six coins it's five of coins sorry Five of coins out in the cold. Wow. So someone wants to turn this around. That's why they're, something's working out where you're no longer out in the cold. Whether it's you or your person or whatever is happening here. Whether this could be, this could be for some. This could be that you're out of work and now you have a, you landed a really nice job. Or it could be also that someone that wasn't speaking to someone or someone left someone behind. They're coming back in, which would make a lot of sense too with the six of earth trying to fix things. What about this moon card, Pisces energy? Why do we have that here? Oh, there we go. Hanging out. We have the queen of swords, mentally strong. Okay, so this is very well could be your card here Aquarius Libra Gemini energy but mentally strong 
and able to handle whatever this um, uh, there's a lot of motion and emotions but you're mentally strong here let's get a charm on this oh we have an arrow with a heart okay so someone is gonna send a, a heart arrow to you there's a message coming with that okay what about this eight of Eight of Wands. Why do we have the Eight of Wands? Oh, these, these cards are really I'm I'm trying to hold on to these because of these slippery cards. These are bad though. Let's see. Why do we have Eight of Wands? Ten of Coins again. Wow. So money's coming in fast. This says family legacy. Whatever's happening here, it seems like your uh, finances are coming in real quick. Also, this could be, you know, it's a lot of communication. Or um, wow, this is great. And then we have the Six of Swords. So this is better times ahead. I'm loving this. What a nice reading. Okay. Like this. Okay. Let me just throw a couple of these word tiles on here to see um what the scoop is. What's the word? What's the word? What is with this champion wand? Let me have this champion wand. We have hidden, confess. Okay, someone's going to contact you to confess what they hid, whatever was hidden here. So you're going to hear about something here. Something's going to be brought to light. Hmm. I do in the bed, the bed. Why keep on hearing it's a, the bat screeching? It's, it almost feels like someone's looking for you. Someone's calling for you. They're trying to feel your energy is what I'm feeling with this bat. It just feel I know as soon as I picked up this bat I felt sad so that's why I think I think someone's trying to find you trying to connect with you okay now what about this queen of swords how do we have the queen of swords memories future regret So someone is regretting what happened in the future. They're thinking about their memories. And I'm, did I just say someone's regretting what happened in the future? Oh my gosh, what did I just say? Someone's regretting what happened. They're thinking about their memories and they're hoping for something in the future, I think. Wow. Yeah, they're hoping to have a future. I don't know why I said that that way. That was, that was nuts. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see here, guys. <laughs> Oh my god, I need a break. <laughs> okay, what signs are we dealing with for Aquarius here? What are the signs? We have Aries. We have Cancer. We have Virgo. Capricorn. And Gemini. And then we have Virgo at the bottom. So these are the signs. It could be your placement. It could be other people's placements in your chart. Other people's placement chart. Past, present, and future people. And it's Aries, Cancer, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, and, and Virgo again. Okay, now for the initials. It could be first names, last names, middle initials. Okay, let's see here. Okay, past, present, future people. Okay, D. V. O. F. S J E Y Q G last one is Y okay so the letters we have for you today are D V O F S J E Y Q G Y now let's see what names we have for you guys what are the names what are the names what are the names we have for Aquarius Okay, so I have here T T E A Rach Rachel R A E C H E L L E Cynthia Paisley Conjal K U N J A L. I don't know if I pronounced that right. I'm sorry. Saran C I A R A N Colin Bernadette 
Okay, Martina, I need two more. And I got two. I have Matt and Pip. P.I.P. Okay, guys, so these are the names. And remember, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if anything resonates. Please leave comments. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.